Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to either allow or prevent the saving of remote desktop credentials on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in group policy, best match, so come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. And now we're going to go expand underneath Computer Configuration. You want to double click on the Administrative Templates folder. Do the same thing now for the Windows Components folder. And there should be a Remote Desktop Services folder in here. So just scroll down and double click on it. And there should be a Remote Desktop Connection Client folder in here. Just left click on that one time. And now on the right side, you want to locate something that says do not allow passwords to be saved. Go ahead and double click on that. You want to set it to enabled if you do not want passwords to be saved. You will disable it if you want to allow passwords to be saved. So pretty straightforward process on that guys. You would select apply and OK. You could run the command prompt and type in GP update or we can just restart our computer to update our policy settings. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually restart my computer here. Now I will also show an alternative method if you are using a VPN. So if you're connected through a VPN, I'm going to show you guys a different setting you have to modify. So you go back into group policy here, go back underneath edit group policy. And then again, computer configuration. And you would expand the administrative templates folder, system credentials delegation now. So just go ahead and left click on that folder one time. And there should be an item that says allow delegating and credentials with NTLM only server authentication. And double click on that. And you would disable that if you do not want to save the passwords. And then select apply and OK. Then you want to go down to allow delegating default credentials. And again, you would disable it. So select disabled, apply and OK. Allow delegating saved credentials now. So go down to that. Again, disabled, apply and OK. And then allow delegating saved credentials with NTLM only server authentication. Double click on that. And you select disabled, apply and OK. And then we're going to go restart our computer. So there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. Do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.